I'm doing what I can to represent each and every single one of you in the most beautiful way I can. It's not easy. It's not easy. Because our ancient ways come with a lot of responsibility. And responsibility is a very scary word in modern times. They're actually teaching us not to be responsible for our own decisions. They're teaching us not to be responsible for our well-being. They're teaching us to give all of our power away. And all we're here to do is, hey man, that's yours. Take it back. You need your shoes. All right? Everyone, repeat after me. All men. All men. Teo. All men. Teo. Louder, please. All men. Teo. Ah, like that, like that. It's a word that we say a lot in ceremony. It's a very simple word, but it's a very complex idea. Ometeo. The duality of life. The two energies that make everything possible. We could call it positive and negative. We could put genders on. We cannot deny the duality of life. We cannot deny that. So, Ometeo is the point of balance between all opposing energies. Where life is created, where change happens. So, to each and every single one of you, from the bottom of our hearts, Ometeo. Say it.
left and right, right love. And as we just did, it's called Bonansi. The word Bonansi means our precious and venerable mother. So that dance is dedicated to Mother Earth. And it's dedicated to, I know it's kind of dangerous to say this, but it's dedicated to the feminine energy. I have some bad news for you guys. Guys, vatos, locos, call us what you will. We forget something, gentlemen. We forget something, homies. We, our chromosomes, are not one. There are two. We carry female chromosomes. How many of us connect to that femininity on a daily basis? How many of us connect to that femininity in our prayers, in our meditations, in whatever way you choose to connect? How many of us? We forget. We like to forget. Why? Because the system is designed to divide and conquer. What do you think? They're just dividing and conquering people? They're dividing and conquering you from you. Because I got some bad news for you, peeps. Every one of you that feels like you have enemies, every one of you that feels like you have haters, there is no enemy, there is no hater out there worse than you. No one has talked more crap about you than you. No one has criticized you more than you. No one. So we ask, take a look at these fires, Take a look at the smoke and look for that love in yourself. Because every single one of us, that spark of life that makes our heart beat, every single one of us is a point of light. Every single one of us is a point of light. And the world that we live in is getting dark. All we have to do is remember our own light. Stop looking out. The answers aren't out there. The answers are in here. The answers are in here. So, with that, I would like to uh, introduce the, uh, the professor that organized this event today. Everyone, please give a round, warm welcome to Professor Aguilar. Vivieron aquí, amaron, 
aquí, que crearon a sus familias aquí y que cuidaron la tierra y la vida aquí y que están enterrados en muchos lugares reconocidos y no reconocidos aquí. Y que pertenecen aquí a pesar de los actos de genocidio, asimilación y destrucción forzosa. Démonos a ellos, a esta tierra, a la vida, a nuestros pensamientos, palabras y acciones en este lugar. We acknowledge the San Joaquin Delta College Church students and their community on their feet and access to the land and the indigenous people, including the young Japanese people and families. We remain grateful for the rich culture, languages, contributions, and heritage of the First Nation people who live here and love here, who raise their families here, who care for land and life here, who are buried in many marked and unmarked places here, and who remain here despite the acts of genocide, assimilation, and forced removal. Let us honor them, this land, and all life in our thoughts, words, and actions in this place. Oh. Uh, I want to uh, acknowledge our brother Joe Rios. Let me just say that um, Shadowhawk, uh, he's been coming to this event yep, it's back on. for the last 25 years and today he couldn't be here with us. So uh, I'm grateful to introduce to you guys our brother uh, Joe Rios. He's from the Apache. Uh, sure. So I'm going to let him introduce himself. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yes, we are. Yo. Hey. Why don't go away? Yeah, you do. Look up. Tanji. Daba. Dundeu. Angaleti. Sure. I introduce myself in my language. I said my name is Joe Evil Grizzly Bear. That was the name that was given to me. That was the name that was given to me by my elders. They recognized that medicine in me. So that was the, the name they gave me. The eagle flies the highest. And I'm here to speak today because I see a lot of eagles. You guys don't even know your eagles. Let me see a, a show of hands of how many of you guys wanted to give up. Be truthful with yourself. In order to grow, you have to be truthful with yourself. It's okay. It's okay to want to give up. But we don't. These professors wouldn't be professors if they gave up. They wouldn't be here to teach you guys. There's plenty of times when you're going to want to give up over and over again. But you got to have that strength. you got to have that medicine. That's why you got to know who you are. Find out who you are first. You can just put on makeup or dress the way you want to dress or do what you want to do. Pretend that that's who you are. Because deep in every one of you guys, you guys know that you guys are portraying something else. What I have on is my regalia. It's to honor my ancestors. Muscularo Apache. My mom is uh, from New Mexico. Me, myself, I was born and raised out of Sacramento, California. And it would, for me, it was a whole different world. I go, go back to my, my cousins, and they're all fighting with each other on the res. <laughs> Growing up in Sacramento, I'm fighting against all the others. There's nobody like me around. So I feel different. I get treated different. And it's okay. I don't give up. My ancestors never gave up. We're still here. If you're Native American, you're still here. Our people are still here. If you're Nakaye, which we say for like the Mexicanos, considered the wanderers, 
gave them that name when they came onto our res and they were with the Spaniards in the Calle. That's what, say for the Spaniards, we knew there were two different tribes. And the Nakaye were with the Spaniards looking, I guess they were looking for gold or something. I don't know what they were looking for. But we called them the Wanderers. And that's what Nakaye translates to in Apache. It's good to see my brothers out here dancing and showing you guys the culture. And I'm here to stand for all natives. I'm also Washo, Ugaleti, Southern Band Washo, out of Lake Tahoe. How many of you guys know Lake Tahoe? How many of you guys know you guys are saying Lake Lake? Yeah, you guys are saying Lake Lake. Lake Tahoe. A little information for you guys when you guys say I'm going to Lake Lake. <laughs> uh, we laugh about that stuff, you know. And it's okay to laugh. Laugh is healing. Okay. So today I just wanted to speak a little bit about never giving up. Because if my ancestors gave up, you know my Great, great, great grandfather, Geronimo, probably a lot of you guys know who I'm talking about. If you don't know, go in that library, it's probably in there somewhere. There's uh, Victoria Lawson. She was a, a lady warrior for you ladies. These are great people. I could stand here today in front of you as an Apache man, and as a washo, because of them. And uh, I'm just here also to say, the Kaye border never, you lower. never crossed the border, the border crossed you. That's good, that's good, thank you. I'm here to stand as an Apache man and tell you guys this is your land as well. You never crossed the ocean. You never crossed the ocean to come here. Spanish is not your first language. So quit that too. So if the Spaniards would have landed up north and Columbus got lost down south, you guys would be speaking English and we would be speaking Spanish. So let's get facts, facts, right. So don't have so much Mexican pride that you don't know you're indigenous. So that's enough I gotta say about that. But for all you warriors, I'm gonna sing a, an Apache warrior song. Okay, sing it the best I can. For you guys, so you guys can hear a little bit. And, uh, we have all different ceremonies. Us Native Americans, we are spiritual people. Okay? Everything we do is within prayer. There was a lot of things that I was thinking about, speaking about. We allow Creator to go ahead and control that. I come with no judgment. I come with the open heart and love and care for each and every one. I bring my blessings upon all of you guys. Hopefully you guys look at me the same way. Francisco, with good intentions. Because that's how we come to people. I don't know about Thanksgiving. We came. We conquered ourselves with that whole meal that we did. I don't know if you know that we came in a good way. We came with good intentions and with love and everything. We taught them how to hunt. We taught them how to eat. We, all these things, we taught them. When they came upon our land, it was already here, ours. They came with different intentions. We took our 
kindness for weakness. They did those things to our people. And it's okay. That's why I come to you in a good way, still. And we will always do that because we're spiritual loving people. When I'm a young man, I'm taught to love, to care for people, to, to look out for our elders. Go to the old folks' homes and will you see any of my people in those elderly homes? I don't think so. Because we know the circle of life. The circle of life is, you're a little baby, you got no teeth. You're putting pampers. You say chomp. Uh, you do, right? You chomp yourself. So somebody has to clean you when you're a baby. You got no teeth, no hair. The circle of life is when you get a certain age, you're gonna lose your hair, you're gonna lose your teeth. Somebody's gonna have to change your trunk. So treat your kids good. So they'll be able to change your pampers just like you change their pampers. That's the circle of life. So we don't have old folks' homes. We don't put our people in old folks' homes because we have to take care of our job. And our job is to take care of our people, respect our elders. You see, the Creator, we call him Creator, Usain, or uh, there's all different names. Some of you guys might call him Jesus. Some of you guys might call him Allah, whoever, whatever. It doesn't matter because there's no judgment. As a Native American, I, I judge nobody. We have zero judgment. Because even though it's not real to me in my heart, would you believe? It's real to you in your heart. And out of respect, I respect that. So it doesn't matter what you believe in. There's one creator. He created everything. We all know that. Down yeah, your heart, he has a, a law. That's why you're not out there killing and doing what you do. Because there's a law. An internal compass inside of you guys. It tells you guys, hey, that's wrong. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. And those things... You understand your first relationship with Creator. If you don't have a first relationship with Creator. That's what you do. Get one. And you have your second relationship with your parents, and siblings, because you have a responsibility. Your responsibility, Creator gave all of you guys a responsibility. You got brothers and sisters and stuff, those are your responsibilities. Those are your first love. As an Apache man, martial man, I'm not afraid to die. Because I'll be going to the next world. I'll be traveling to the next world. Somebody we call it crossing over to the next world. If somebody crosses over, we sing those songs. Our songs are sacred. Our songs are powerful. Our prayers are powerful. Spiritual people. My first relationship is strong because if my son, I got five boys and three girls. One of them to cross over, I have to sing those songs to make sure they get to the other side. And my first relationship has to be that strong. So when I ask Creator, please accept him to that next world. We know there's another world. Some of you guys call it heaven. Some of you guys call it whatever you guys want to call it. But before you guys came to this world, you were in a water world. Ten months in your mom's valley, in the womb of your mom. That's all you knew. And then you came in this world, and the Creator was so good that He welcomed you with loving parents and loving people to take care of you, watch over you, guide you, teach you the basic mind how to walk. Straighten out your compass to make sure that you're doing the right thing. Some of you guys are, are disobedient and doing the things you're not supposed to do. Fix your compass and straighten it out. Remember what they taught you as a little, little. Straighten that out. You're only making life harder for yourself by not listening to anybody, professor or anything, or not being, taking that responsibility to get your stuff in on time. You're hurting yourself. You're here to learn, do what you need. You made a decision, follow it, take care of it, and go with it. That's your job. So, don't ever be afraid to die. You know what? Nobody can do that to you. Don't kill yourself. 
the biggest battle is within yourself. Don't ever talk bad about yourself, like my brother said. Because when you say, man, I'm not good enough, you told every cell in your body that you're not good enough. Every cell in your body has to listen to what you tell it to. If you're sick, you can kill yourself. Because you tell all those cells, hey, this is what we need to do. We need to fix this hand. Well, I don't want to end up with a strong hand. Any of you guys want to end up with a strong hand? You pray for yourself. Pray for others. You're not here to save the world. You're here to take care of yourself. You save yourself. What the Creator gave you. Everybody take care of what the Creator gave you. Respect all the others and how they feel and what they think. And you're good. Because you come into a different tribe. A powwow is tribes coming together, all singing in harmony. Hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, you know, all of these, they're vocal wolves. Those vocal wolves are so that others can sing in. Without even knowing my language, you can still sing in. Without me knowing his language, he can still sing, I can still sing in. And so our tribes can come together and unite. That's how it's supposed to be. That's what a powwow is. It's not competition and all this other stuff. Don't be in competition with others and don't be in competition with yourself. Well, yourself you can. I guess you can. Push yourself to the limit. You know? But that's all I got to say. I'll sing this song for you guys the best I can. Take what's good. Take what's good. You don't have to. You take what you need. The radio will give you only what you need. You take that. Apply it to your life. You can have all the knowledge in the world. All the know-how in the world, but if you don't apply it to your life, it's no good to you at all. Don't be lazy. Apply it. Remember, there's all different spirits. There's laziness, jealousy. There's, you know, all of these spirits. There's even clumsiness. If you're dropping stuff all the time, cleanse yourself. You'll stop dropping things. So. Type of drum. This is a water drum. I also have different drums and, and rattles. If you guys want to look at those, you guys can hold them, touch them. I have different medicines over there. If you guys need some medicine, I, I will share some medicine with you. So don't be shy.
mistakenly called the Aztec calendar. It's not even Aztec, it's not even a calendar. <laughs> anyway. But, if you look in the center, outlining the face, there is a shape. That shape also has its own day. That day is called Olin. Olin represents movement. It is the movement of the cosmos that makes your life possible. I heard a scientist say, there's no order in the cosmos, it's all chaotic. And I looked at him and I smiled and I said, yeah, brother, but that chaos results in your life. And he went, oh. With a master's degree, and he went, oh. Isn't that crazy? Knowledge doesn't come with a degree, family. Knowledge comes from the search. Search, because you all know. You all know, we don't come from a people that believed that we were born empty platters. We don't come from a people that believed that those empty platters started getting filled with experiences. We come from a people that believe that each and every single one of us is born complete. Born complete. And all we have to do, I don't know if you realize this, modern science loves to use the word discover. So about 15, 20 years ago, they discovered, quote unquote, that every single baby on the planet, while they're doing their baby talk, they're actually making the sounds of every language on the planet. Every single one of us was born practicing every language on the planet. So for those of us that think we're special because we're bilingual, trilingual, quadrilingual, and eh, we're still limiting ourselves. Because we were born to speak them all. Crazy, huh? 
Don't, don't believe me. Look, look it up. Don't, don't believe anything. Hey. I just, there's not many things I tell people to Google, but you can Google that one. Remember, Google does not mean God. And God does not mean Google. Stop believing. Because 20 years ago, your searches didn't result in the searches now. Oh. So remember that, people, please. Please, family, please. The virtual world is just that, not real. So with that, um, we could do another little dance right now. Uh, keep that in mind. Movement. Olin. Olin. Movement. Movement is life. We're biologic we are biological machines. And if we don't move, we start rotting. So move. And when you think you're moving, move more. And for those of you who think you have cried enough, you haven't even started to. No. You haven't even started to. Move those emotions. Don't let those emotions control you. Our emotions are here to teach us, not to control us. Remember that, please. Oh, Mateo.
Do we have blood represented from the Mexica, from the Maya, from the Yaqui, Peruvian. We have all kinds of nations here. The last dance we just did is called Tlaloc. Did it work? There it goes. All right. I think, uh, okay. Tlaloc. Tlaloc means rain. Notice that I said Tlaloc means rain. I didn't say Tlaloc means God of rain. I love asking professors, why do you keep teaching that we come from polytheistic people? Why? Well, because of uh, human sacrifices and blah, blah, blah. Well, what's human sacrifice, bro? Which ones? There's no archaeological proof. There's no anthropological proof. Nothing. We only have the word of invaders. That's all we have. The word of invaders. That's all we have. So, Laloc means rain. We don't come from a people that worship. <gasps> we don't come from a people that worship. We came from a people that learn to respect the energies, the nature that surrounds us. The energies that surround us that give us life. That dance we just did honors the water. So I have a short story. A couple of years after my pops passed, my, my dear father, the neighbor, eight-year-old kid next door comes over and he calls, he still calls me vecino. He doesn't call me by my name, he calls me vecino, which means neighbor. And he says, vecino, how you doing, man? Came up, gave me a hug. And I said, how you doing, mijo? And he said, you know what, vecino? I miss your dad. And I said, man, you miss my dad? He goes, yeah. I gave him a hug. And then he looked at me and he said, vecino, don't you miss your dad? And I took a step back, looked at this little eight-year-old straight in the eyes, and I said, nah, mijo, I don't. He took a step back, and if he was big enough and old enough, he would have swung at me. He looked at me like I was a piece of garbage. And he said, why don't you miss your dad, vecino? And I said, check this out, mijo. We were underneath a tree. It was a windy day. And I said, close your eyes and pay attention. Do you hear that wind growing through the leaves of the tree? And he said, yeah. And I said, in that wind is every breath and every word my father ever said. And then I said, now come out of the shade. Look towards father's son. Open your arms. Close your eyes. Do you feel that warmth? And he said, yeah. And I said, every time I do that, I feel my father embrace me. So you see this? Every bite of food that comes from Mother Earth, my father's in every bite of natural food that comes from Mother Earth. Why? Because we are Earth. We are wind. And we are fire. Now, you see this water that I'm using? And he said, yeah. And I said, man, we're like... Some scientists say we're 60-something percent water. Other scientists say we're 80-something percent water. It doesn't matter. We're mostly water. And I said, check this out, man. My father came to me in a dream. My dad came to me in a dream, and he said, Mijo, when it rains, every drop you hear is a te quiero from my part. Te quiero. I love you. And the little boy looked at me, and he said, wait, 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 let's see, no, wait. You mean if, if it's a Saturday morning and I don't have to go to school and it's raining outside and I hear the raindrops on my window and the little boy closes his eyes and he goes, te quiero, te quiero, te quiero, te quiero, te quiero. Hey, vecino, that's cool. That's cool. And I said, look, mijo, you, me, doesn't matter where we come from. We are four elements, nothing more, nothing less. Those four elements are united for a little while to give you the experience that you're having. Once this experience is over, those four elements go back to what they once were, what they still are, and what they'll always be. Because the law of conservation for you science freaks says this, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only change forms. So add that, add that to the magic of life, and then you'll start understanding that the infinite is guaranteed to all of us.
All right. Um, so with that, with that, just a, a little reminder, we are all made of the same thing. Some of us have creation stories that from the very beginning were not equal. Yet, we are here trying to find equality. You can't find equality if in your creation story you're not equal. You ever think about that? If it's in, if it's in your creation story that you're not equal, how are you going to fight for equality? Think about it. And that's all we're asking you to do. Think a little bit. It's almost illegal. It's almost illegal to think. So because it's not yet, let's do that. Let's do that. So uh, with that, I'd like to uh, invite my Apache brother again, uh, share some more of his uh, beautiful knowledge, his beautiful songs. Um, and then uh, at the end of it all, we're going to invite you all to come in. We're all going to do something together, united. All right? Oh, Mateo. Beautiful words. I'm going to piggyback off of that a little bit. We'll talk a little bit about water. You know, uh, talk about these droughts and stuff like that. One way you could uh, help out is not all this water comes out of these bottles. One drop is a raindrop. One raindrop is uh, fed that tree. Maybe came out, went back up, fed your body, fed an animal, fed all this. It never left this Mother Earth that keeps coming back and back and back. So that simple thing, just put the lid inside the bottle and allow the water to come out. We got too much water. If you think about all the water that's, that's trapped in every bottle and every container, it makes a difference. With, because we know our system goes, our water goes up in the clouds and gets to the, the mountains, comes down. The creator's so good that you don't think we have enough, so he freezes it. That's why we got snow. He freezes it for us, so we have enough for the whole year. But we're so used to being, carrying water with ourselves, and it's, you know, it's convenient for us, you know, to just keep it with us, that we're trapping that water. So something to think about, you know. Let that, let those, those raindrops go back up. You know, that's a way of changing things. You know, fix yourself, and just little things like that make a difference. Um, I got a couple different. Uh, drums. I'm going to share with you guys a couple of different uh, instruments. This is an older water drum. One of our older water drums. This is a hand drum. This is a buffalo hide. Okay. That knot on the back is my grandmother's knot. Okay. So like when we uh, build regalia, moccasins, or whatever we build, see, it's passed down to us. So my grandmother has her own, her own niches. So when, back in the old days, when they would see those mocks, they would know who, who made those. They would know who made that regalia. They would know who made that drum just by those special knots and stuff that we put into our stuff. This is not a costume. This is regalia. Okay, this is who we are. Another war club, catch your war club. We used to use, you know. Our people are great warriors, you know, not afraid to, to die, like I said. And uh, so, bead work on my hat, a little bit of bead work. You guys can look at that. This is one of my ceremonial fans, Peyote ceremonial fan. And then this is uh, from the plains. One of my uh, Lakota brothers gave me this. This comes from his family, back from the, the Lakotas. And uh, this is what you call a coup stick. Anybody know what County Coup is? 
I'll share a little bit about that. So, back in the days, killing somebody was very simple. It's too simple for our people. So that they would get acoustic. And while that enemy was sleeping, they would go and touch that person and walk away. It would take everything from that man. When that man would wake up and look and say, man, that guy could have killed me. Man, he gave me another chance at life. It meant way more than taking that guy's life. Or they rode on a, on a horse and they'd touch him. Yeah, ride back, being shot at. Very powerful stick. It's been through ceremonies and, and other things. Uh, but I just wanted to share that with you because like, we're stereotyped as Native Americans, we're stereotyped. You can go back to the old cartoons and you can go to the Western movies and it's cowboys and Indians, right? Everybody wants to be a cowboy because the uh, Indian is a savage and all these other bad things that we're called. But I told you guys at the beginning that I come to you guys in a good way, with blessings and love. We've always come to everybody with that. We are not savages. We bring blessings upon this earth so powerful that you guys don't even know. Our medicines are so powerful. Like our cedar, we lay down some cedar for you guys. We lay down cedar for the people. That cedar makes that prayer go around this earth so fast. You can eat a healing and I put, lay down some cedar and that creator just make that prayer go around this world. It's that powerful. This right here is one of my ceremonial rattles. And I'm gonna sing a song that I sing. Yeah. I don't usually sing it out here, but I'm gonna share with you guys. This is a, a song that was given to my sons. I got five boys. You know, I'm not a shotgun dad. You know, I got three girls. I'm not one to, I, I raised my daughters to know their value, to know who they are, to love who they are. They don't wear makeup and all these eyelashes and all that stuff. My, my, my daughters Just a little bit, please. are solid. I don't have to worry about them picking the right man. So I'm not a shotgun dad because I spent time with them, a lot of prayer with them, a lot of teachings with them. That's what we do. They don't struggle with themselves. It's pretty easy stuff. And they always know they can come back to me and speak. Hey, Dad, I have this issue. Um, hey, Dad, what do you think about this? That's okay. And I hit them between the eyes with it. Bam! That's what I think about that. And they might not always hear what they be what they want to hear. But it is what it is. Because I am not her, I'm not their friend. I got eight kids and I'm not their friend. I'm their dad. There's only one of me. Only one dad and one mom. All you got is one dad and one mom, and if you call them your friend, you're messing up. They are not your friend. Friends are here, and they come and they go. They help you out and then they go. They use you and they go. <laughs> So-called friends, right? But your parents are your parents. You got one mom and one dad. The Atu. She ma. She ta. My mom. My dad. And that's all I got to say about that. So you guys straighten out your parents, kids, siblings, or whatever relationship. <laughs> it's on you guys. All right, I'm gonna sing this song. This is a Jody song, and uh, sing this to my boys, my Sunny Boys. This is what I call them, my Sunny Boys. Yana hey yo please bless my dear sunny boys. Hey hey yo hey yo Yana hey yo Yana hey yo Yana hey yo please bless them with good health and happiness. Hey yo hey yo hey yo hey yo hey yo hey yo 
Fought a lot so I could be here today. And I'm here to show you guys that we're still here. Because people think that they're on Indian reservations or whatever. Yeah, we are put out there. We are given the, 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 the garbage land or whatever, the little piece of land to, to stay on and bordered off. You know, I, I, I bring my brothers out from my, my relatives out from these reses and I, and I pay for them to come out and, and, and I share different different dances to share with the people because you guys don't know you guys don't know we're still it's so powerful like there's so many things like I have to get permission to be here that's how much it is that's how tight our Native American are knitted together like I have to go to my Diatu which is my big brother my big, that's how I said, that's my big brother, it's my tia. And I, I was out in, on our res, and I had a talk to him, and I sat down, and I said, hey, you know what, they want me to do these things, they want me to go speak, what are you going to speak about? I said, I don't know. And then I said, I thought I was going to speak about all kinds of things, but then it didn't go that way. Because the creator knows what you guys need to hear. And I got that permission, and I felt good with that permission. You know, my, uh, my, my older cousins, my elders, my family said, go, sing a couple songs, share some words. But there's a lot of things I can't cross lines with. I can invite you guys to go to ceremony, so you guys can experience that, you can understand that. You know, a lot of things are within us. And there's so much that I would love to talk to you guys about and share with you guys because it's so powerful. And I'm, I'm just reaching the, the little tips of, of just to, so you guys can see the difference. So that you guys don't see this as, as a savage up there. We're loving people, we're spiritual people. And I just come here in a good way to, to speak to all of you. And, The four directions is uh, we have, like my brother was saying, every one of us has a creation story. On my Apache side, I have a creation story. On my my other Apache side, which is my great grandfather's side, is uh, Chiricahua as well. They have a creation story. It's similar. And then my Yatu side, I have my dad side. I have, we have a creation story as well. So all tribes have different creation stories. And all of you guys have a creation story, you know. We all have creation story. And like I said before, you know, your creation story probably won't, don't resonate with me. It might not, you know. And it might. But I respect it. And it's real to you. Don't ever be ashamed of your creation story. Don't ever be ashamed of who you are and what you're taught. If you believe that in your heart, you know, if Jesus Christ is your God, then believe that and don't be ashamed of that. If that's what it is. If it's anything else, then believe that and it's okay. Don't be afraid of that. Because whatever makes you a better person, a better human being, then be that. Don't fall into all the religious stuff. If we all have a creation story that you're going to go back to. Your kid, like when you were a kid, your parents taught you that creation story, whether you know it or not. You just got to fall back and remember it. You know? So, like I said, I asked permission to come here, and you know what? I got the permission. 
I'm here today to you know, thank you guys for one for allowing me to speak and allowing me to share with you guys what I can share. And like I said, there's a lot more that I would love to share with you guys. And um, don't be afraid to come talk to me or whatever. Ask me about you know I can kind of help you guys out with a little bit more. Also, if you do have Native American blood in you, okay, I do have a nonprofit. It's called You Talk Nation. It's the United Tribes of California. And if you just got a lot of money and you want to donate to uh, a nonprofit, <laughs> you might do But we, we do Apache language classes, we do Choctaw uh, language classes. We do teach drumming, we do teach songs, we do, do ceremony, we do our ceremonial, we, have, we do our sweat lodges, we do our TV ceremonies, different ceremonies, daily ceremonies, whatever needed. We also do funerals and other things as well because our people don't know where to go to get that done. So that nonprofit does provide that for the people. I myself am the president of that nonprofit. Battle for a long time because I wanted to help the people, but I didn't know how to help the people. And people always told me, "Hey, start a nonprofit. Start a nonprofit." I don't know how to start a nonprofit. I'm not going to start a nonprofit. And then a friend of mine called me and said, "Hey, here, here's a nonprofit. I'm not, I'm not going to use it anymore." <laughs> so that's how creative works, and that's who we are today. So I got business cards and stuff like that if you guys need. But thank you for you guys here. Thank you for you guys. You know, many blessings to you guys. And uh, that's all I got to say about that one. Oh. Okay, family. On the deal. Lanzantes, if you can make a big circle. And then all of you, join us. All we're going to do is a couple of flips, some back spins. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. They're very, very simple steps. It's called the friendship dance. And it unites us all. And what are we representing? As soon as we start moving, we're representing that Olin that I was talking about a little while ago. That cosmic movement that makes our life possible. So join us, please. Join us, please. Come on up. Oh, we'll go and get you.